These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of Hey yo, what's shaking y'all? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, owner of Crush Grapes Lifestyle, aficionado footwear, uh, enophile footwear, etc., etc. And this is Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur. So, you know, one of my one of my uh, followers. Uh, gave me the topic of today, the confession of today, to speak upon, and um, that's to do with entrepreneurship and just um, how to sustain being an entrepreneur and um, the trials and tribulations which you go through to um, to make it happen on a daily basis and. This is really a never-ending, uh, you know, it's a never-ending battle for, for me and, 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 and most entrepreneurs because you have to find a way to make it click. You're not waiting for uh, someone to give you a check. You have to go create that opportunity, okay? And um, because you don't have that cushion of the 95, you have to create these opportunities of figure out how to fund your 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 dream or your business or your venture. So you have to fundraise. You have to figure that out. You have to figure out strategic partnerships with funding institutions or private lenders or investors or raise your own capital. However, you can do that. Um, you also have to put together a team because you can't do it alone. I, I repeat this, you cannot do it alone. Uh, no matter how many entrepreneurs you see that are now rich and famous or rich in general or successful, whatever that means, that's all relative to, right? They did not do it alone. They have a team, whether their team gets any props or not, they had a team. It's impossible to do it alone. Um, if you if you're a creative person, or you know a talented person, that's the least of your issues. That's that's not never going to be the problem. Um, the biggest thing is how to put that talent, you know, how to how to pair that talent with the drive and dedication and perseverance. And this is why, and, and a lot of creative people don't their drive doesn't match their talent. You know what I mean? And that's really it shows you know and, and, and whenever you see like uh, you know ta people that are not very talented you know and they're, and, they're, and they're at the top because their grind was just a lot bigger and better than the talented person the talented person was not as you know dedicated they, they, they didn't work as hard. It just has to come down to that. We can't make excuses. And I've been guilty of that. I've been guilty of not working as hard as I should be working because I'm ultra talented and I've always been ultra talented. But I have to take stock of myself daily and uh, make sure that I'm not making the same mistakes over and over again in order to move forward. And that's really um, hard a hard thing to do as well as an entrepreneur, but you have to do that. These are all things you have to do. Uh, if you're not trying to make yourself a better person than you were yesterday, and more efficient than you were yesterday, and more knowledgeable and more, and, and more wise than you were yesterday, then you're, you're, going, you're, you're staying in the same place or you're going backwards, which is even worse. So it's hard for us sometimes to do that, especially as men, to you know recognize when we're our, our, our you know our shortcomings. And so what I what I did and I learned a long time ago, one way to keep track of these things and keep on point is to make a list of all my shortcomings. And um, 
my weak points, my weak, uh, you know, the weaknesses I have, and, and also a list of my strong points and my strengths. And every day, try to work on these weak points. You know, a lot of it has to do with being just having fear. And if you can overcome these fears, the weak points start to disappear, you know, one by one. And um, this is this is all important. Um, so the last thing I would say is value. Know, knowing your value and knowing who you are and what you have and what you bring to the table, what you bring to the world, what you bring to the, the deal, uh, what you bring to the industry. Knowing what that is, making a decision to stick by that and not waver. Uh, it's okay to compromise certain things. You know, I used to be the type of artist that was always concerned about, you know, I must, I must be in control of everything. I must have control. Um, and that's important. But what's more important is um, knowing when to give up some of that control for a, you know, a, a collaboration on the, on the, in, on the vision and you know it's okay to do that it's okay to collaborate with others and let them if they have a good opinion and they and they they respect your vision and you can uh, get them on on the team you know of actually moving forward with your vision then that's a that's a positive thing okay so don't let your ego get involved you know and not wanting to give up control of something and then that ruins your whole deal that's happened to me as well so these are all ways that i deal with being an entrepreneur some of the lessons hard you know well learned i spent thousands and thousands of dollars trying to figure this shit out i'm still spending money um, a lot of things have worked a lot of things haven't i've failed numerous times i will continue to fail but i've also won and i've been successful um, as well and again any entrepreneur that tells you they never fail they're lying to you and if you're afraid to fail and you want to be an entrepreneur then guess what you've already failed give up now because if, you, if you're too afraid to fail you're always going to fail because you're, you're too afraid to try your your um your fear of trying and, and, and failing outweighs you know, the thought of what if I what if I win? What if I'm successful? You see, you have to flip that. You know, um, you have to believe in yourself and know your value. So, once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. Crushed grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.